Okay. So what is the PA supplemental application? So again, we can't say too much about the supplemental application in terms of its content or the time and whatnot. But for the supplemental application, whether it is during a pandemic or not, the way it's been is it has been on an online platform, which is a combination of both verbal and written. And essentially, you can just think of it as just the classic job interview. It's really, it's not like the MMI in terms of question content, but it is in terms of really just get to know you. They really just wanna to get to know you as an applicant, you as an individual, and they're going to ask questions that cater towards that. So really in terms of how I went about prepping for it, um, I prepped very extensively for the MMI, but I knew that I would get too, I guess, nervous or too freaked out if I prepped for the supplemental application. And I've never actually prepared for a job interview before because it gets me very nervous. Um, but the MMI was a little bit different because like Shadow was saying, there's a lot more in terms of structuring answers and whatnot. And there was a lot of things about PAs or the healthcare system that I might not have known. But in terms of the supplemental application, the reason why I went about not preparing was because I didn't want my answers to seem rehearsed. So they are very personal questions and they are questions that extrapolate about your experiences, if you choose to draw on them or not, whether you see it appropriate. And essentially, I didn't want my answers to feel very fake. And I didn't want them to seem like I had been practicing a script. So really, all I did right before the interview was I just jotted, jotted down a few things about myself, just some of the extracurriculars I'd been a part of, um, some of the things that I could go on to draw about if I wanted to. And if you are the type of person that wanted to prepare, maybe that might look a little bit different. Maybe the week before you would jot down each of your extracurricular experiences and maybe just a little blurb about what you did so you'd feel more comfortable talking about them. But really just for the supplemental application, I cannot stress enough how important introspection is when it comes to just yourself as an individual and when you're applying that to something like an application. So really when I mean introspection, that's really taking a valuable experience to really look back and reflect on yourself as an individual. Although I didn't prepare structured wise, I always had a chance to just before I went to bed, lie down and really think about myself, really think about experiences that I've been through, really think about what were the moments that shaped me like Shada was talking about earlier, really think about the moments that, okay, this was a very distinct moment in this experience that flipped my perspective, or this is a moment that I was really challenged. And really just having a chance to be honest with yourself and really reflect back to, okay, who am I? Like, who do I want people to know I am? What experiences have I been a part of that reflect that aspect of me as an individual? And that was really just how I went about preparing for it. I didn't know what to expect. And so I really just thought back to who I was, what I've been a part of, and how that would translate in something in terms of a supplemental application. Yeah, I totally agree. I find that the Kira talent um, comes about at a weird time, especially if you are an undergrad, it does come around midterm season. And so I found it a little bit difficult to prepare myself. Um, and I did give it a little bit of time in, or in terms of preparation. Um, I definitely found that reflection um, and introspection, just like Tony had mentioned, was my biggest um, tip. Um, and my biggest strategy was kind of journaling the things that I learned from the experiences that I had um, at that time. And so, you know, before a job interview, I don't really prepare either, but I do look over my resume. I want to know, you know, I want to prepare, you know, why I want this job and the things that I could bring to this job, you know what I mean? And the experiences that I have that I could bring. And so similar to that, I kind of took a very similar approach for the Kira talent. I looked at it as if it was a job interview. And I thought, you know, okay, why do I want to be a PA? What things do I have in previous in terms of my experience that I could bring to this profession? Um, and what am I looking to gain from it? You know what I mean? Like, what are my goals and aspirations? Um, so similar to Tony, um, I kind of thought about those things and reflected on them. I would write them out in my journal. Um, and so it was a very informal way of preparation. It was not as structured as my MMI prep, um, but I did take some time to kind of look at myself in a, as an individual and think about what I wanted to say um, should the questions come up um, and think about it that way. This way, when they ask you, you know, like, 
for example, the tell me about yourself question is a nightmare for me. <laughs> I wanted to know how to, how to answer that one um, and things like that. Like, what is your biggest strength? I'm like, okay, off the top of my head, I have no idea. So I wanted to reflect on those like most common questions so that if something similar were to come up um, or something where I could use, you know, an answer from here or there, I wanted to just have those in my brain so that I wouldn't like draw a blank. But other than that, yeah, super minimal prep. Just my biggest tip is to reflect on your own experiences, what you learned from them, um, and you know what the challenges were. Um, and if you do that, I feel like you're as prepped as you're going to be.